Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this reindeer. For this video, or for this pattern, you're going to need light brown yarn, some dark brown yarn, a little bit of black, white, and red yarn. You will also need a darning needle and a hook of your choice. Um, for this video, I'm going to be using a 3.75mm crochet hook, but feel free to use whichever hook size you have. Um, and I will also be giving you the written instructions, which I have written down in my little notebook, and I will give those to you in just a minute. Anyway, now we can begin. Here are the written instructions. I will put up a better photo up in just a minute, but before I do that, I just want to go over um, what each little section means. So the numbers on the sides represent the rounds that we're working on, and the little numbers that are in the parentheses show how many stitches you should have at the end of the round. And these little um, SC, INC, DEC that I have written in parentheses are basically the shortened version of increase, decrease, and single crochet. And each of these rounds are going to be repeats. So it says for round three, one single crochet, comma, increase. That means that you're going to do an, a single crochet and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. And again, the number is how many stitches you should have. That's all I wanted to say. And I will put up the written instructions right now. Okay, so I've just put the written instructions up. Feel free to take screenshots or have a different tab open so you can follow along. And now the first thing that we're going to be working on is the body portion of our reindeer. So we're going to be starting off with our light brown yarn. So go ahead and grab your light brown yarn and we're going to start making the body. So to start off, we're going to make a magic ring and chain one. For round one, we're going to start off by making six single crochets into our magic ring. So go ahead and crochet six single crochets. <clears throat> Excuse me. After you have your six single crochets, find this small strand of yarn that's hanging out and pull on it. Once you pull on it, <clears throat> excuse me, the center loop should tighten. And now we're going to finish off round one by slip stitching in our very first single crochet and chain one. I don't believe that I wrote um, slip stitch and chain one on my written pattern, but feel free to slip stitch and chain one at the end of every round. And now we're starting round two. For round two, we're going to increase in each and every stitch all the way around until we get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 12 single crochets. And I will meet you when I'm done. I'm here at the end of round two. I have a total of 12 single crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round three. So for round three, we're going to do one single crochet and one increase all the way around until you get to the very end. So again, for round three, we're going to do one single crochet and one increase all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end, we should have a total of 18 stitches. And I will meet you when I'm done. I'm here at the end of round three. I have a total of 18 stitches, and now we're going to finish off round three by slip stitching into our very first stitch and chaining one. Now we're on to round four. So our repeat pattern for round four is to do two single crochets and an increase all the way around. Again, our repeat pattern for round four is two single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 24 stitches. I'm here at the end of round four. I have a total of 24 stitches, and now we're gonna finish off by slip stitching into our very first stitch and chaining one. And now we're gonna start round five. So for round five, our repeat pattern is going to be three single crochets and an increase all the way around. So again, our repeat pattern for round five is to do three single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 30 stitches, and I will meet you when I'm done. 
I'm here at the end of round five and I have a total of 30 stitches. Once again, we're gonna slip stitch into our very first stitch and chain one to finish off that round. Now we're on to round six. So for round six, our repeat pattern is going to be four single crochets and an increase all the way around. So once again, our repeat pattern for round number six is to do four single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 36 stitches and I will meet you when I'm done. I am here at the end of round six. I've done my um, repeat pattern and I have a total of 36 stitches. To finish off the round, we're gonna slip stitch and chain one. And now we're on to round seven. So for round seven, our repeat pattern is going to be five single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, our repeat pattern is to do five single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 42 stitches and I will meet you when I'm done. I've just finished round seven and I have a total of 42 stitches. Now go ahead and slip stitch and chain one. And now we're done with our increase rounds. Now we're just gonna do single crochet rounds. So for, for rounds eight through 15, we're just gonna single crochet all around. We're not gonna do any increases or decreases or anything like that. We're just gonna single crochet around, slip stitch at the end of each round and chain one. And we're gonna continue single crocheting again for rounds 8 through 15. So go ahead and single crochet and I will meet you when I'm done. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful winter break. I know the pandemic is kind of weird and everyone's going through some tough times, but hopefully you guys will make it through and hopefully 2021 will be a better year. Again, for rounds 8 through 15, we're just going to single crochet around, keeping a stitch count of 42 and I will meet you when I'm done. I'm almost done with my last round, which is round 15. I'm just gonna finish it off by slip stitching and chain one. Again, you should have ended off on round 15, and now we're starting round 16. So for round 16, we're gonna start our decreases. So our repeat pattern for round 16 is going to be five single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, we're starting our decreases, and the pattern our repeat pattern for round 16 is to do five single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. Um, before I let you guys go, I'm going to show you how I do my decreases. So one, two, three, four, five. So how I do my decreases is I like to do it the invisible stitch way. So um, there's one way you can do decreases, which is like this. You insert your hook, grab your arm, pull up insert your hook through the next available stitch, grab yarn, pull up, and then you just do a single crochet, except with three, you do a half double crochet, excuse me, like that. But um, I don't really like doing it that way because you can see the stitches when you're done. So how I like to do mine is I like to go through the front loop of our next stitch, like so, not both of them, just the front loop, and then do the same thing with the next one, with the next one, excuse me. So now I have three loops on my hook. Now I'm gonna grab my yarn, pull through two. I have two loops in my, on my hook. I'm gonna grab yarn, pull through two. That's how I like to do my decreases. And I'm gonna show you one more time. So we have our next available stitch. We're only gonna go through the front loop. Then we're gonna find our next stitch and do the exact same thing. We're gonna go through the front loop. We have three loops on our hook. We're gonna grab yarn, pull through two. Grab yarn, pull through two. And that's how I like to do my decreases, but again, you can do it however, whatever way you'd like. But um, again, the repeat pattern for round 16 is to do five single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end, you should have a total of 36 stitches and I will meet you when I'm done. I am here at the end of round 16. I have a total of 36 stitches. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're just gonna slip stitch into our very first stitch. and chain one. Now we're on to round 17. So our repeat pattern for round 17 is going to be four single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. And when you're done with this round, you should have a total of 30 stitches. So again, our repeat pattern for round 
17 is to do four single crochets and a decrease all the way around and again at the end you should have a total of 30 stitches and I will meet you when I'm done I'm here at the end of round 17 I have a total of 30 stitches and now we're gonna start round 18 first obviously slip stitch and chain one <clears throat> And for round 18, our repeat pattern is going to be three single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, it's going to be three single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end, you should have a total of 24 stitches. And I will meet you when I'm done. I'm here at the end of round 18, and I have a total of 24 stitches, and now I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. And now you can go ahead and loosen up your yarn and start stuffing the head, which I will do off camera. But again, now you can loosen up your yarn and start stuffing your head, and I will be back when I'm done. I've just finished stuffing, and now I'm just going to put my hook back in my yarn. And now we can continue. We left off on round 18, which means now we're on round 19. So for round 19, our repeat pattern is going to be two single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end, you should have a total of 18 stitches. I'm here at the end of round 19. I have a total of 18 stitches and now I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. Now we are around 20. And we are once again going to start increasing. So for round 20, our repeat pattern is going to be two single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. So again, for round 20, our repeat pattern is to do two single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end, you should have a total of 24 stitches. I'm here at the end of round 20. I have a total of 24 stitches. Now I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round 21. So for 21, we are just going to single crochet all around. We're not gonna do any increases or decreases or anything. It's just going to be a simple round of single crochets and you're gonna keep a stitch count of 24. And I will meet you when I'm done. I've done my round of single crochets and now I'm just gonna slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round 22. So for round 22, we are going to once again increase. And our repeat pattern for round 22 is to do three single crochets and an increase all the way around. So again, our repeat pattern for round 22 is to do three single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 30 stitches and I will meet you when I'm done. I've just finished round 22. I have a total of 30 stitches. Now I'm just going to slip stitch and chain one. And now we are going to do a few rounds of single crochets. So for rounds 23 to 25, we're just going to single crochet all around, keeping a stitch count of 30. Again, from rounds 23 to 25, we're just going to single crochet all around, keeping a stitch count of 30, and I will meet you when I'm done. Also feel free to keep stuffing um, to your content, so just keep stuffing whenever you see fit, and yeah, and I will meet you when I'm done. I have just finished round 25, and I've gone ahead and stuffed the body portion of my reindeer, and I'm just going to finish round 35 by slip stitching and chaining one. And now we're on to round 26. So our pattern for round 26 is going to be three single crochets and a decrease all the way around. So again, three single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of 24 stitches. And I will meet you when I'm done. I've just finished round 26. I have a total of 24 stitches. And now I'm going to slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. 
Now we're on to round 27. So our repeat pattern for round 27 is to do two single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Again, that's two single crochets and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end you should have a total of 18 stitches and I will meet you when I'm done. Also, if you hear a little bit of background noise, that's the heater. It's pretty cold here where I am right now, which is why I have a sweatshirt on. Um, so if you hear background noise, I apologize. I might just end up turning it off anyway. But anyway, I will meet you when I'm done with round 27. I've just finished round 27. I have a total of 18 stitches. And now again, we're going to slip stitch into our very first stitch and chain one. Now it'd be a wonderful idea to go ahead and stuff your body because it's going to get a little harder after we continue. So go ahead and stuff your body. Once you're done stuffing, we're going to just continue. We left off on round 27 with 18 stitches and now we're going to move on to round 28. So our repeat pattern for round 28 is to do a single crochet and a decrease all the way around. Again, the repeat pattern is one single crochet and a decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the very end, you should have a total of 12 stitches. I'm here at the end of round 28. I have a total of 12 stitches. Now I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. And now we are working on round 29, which is our last round, and we're just going to decrease all around. So go ahead and decrease all around until you get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of six stitches. So go ahead and do that, and I will meet you when I'm done. I'm here at the end, I have a total of 6 stitches, and now I'm just going to slip stitch into my very first stitch, and chain 1. And now we're just going to cut a long strand of yarn, I'd say about 12 inches, and just pull it through, and tighten. Now you're going to go ahead and grab your darning needle and attach it to the end of this yarn, which I'm going to do right now. I've just attached my yarn to my darning needle. And we're just going to close up this little hole right here. And if you want, you can do a little bit of last minute stuffing if you think that it's not stuffed enough. But I've already done my stuffing and I think I'm content with what I have. So now I'm just going to sew this hole together. You can sew it however you'd like. What I do is I just go through each and every one of the stitches individually back and forth. We should have six, so I'm just going to go back and forth six times. And that's five and then six and then once I make my way around I am just going to pull on the yarn and that should tighten up the, the hole in the center and then once that's done you can just go to a nearby stitch insert your hook through it and just tighten up knot it in place so you know it's secure and then after that you can find the back side of your body which is the side that you've done your slip stitches in chain one so um, the back side of your body is going to be where this little row is and this little line that you see is where you've slip stitched and chained one and in my opinion it's not really pretty so that's always the back side and then the front side is the one that doesn't have that little line so you have that little line right there and then there's no line on this side so you're going to find where your little line is and you're just going to um, hide your tail along that line. So just bring your yarn through the body and hide your yarn in the back. Because no one's going to be looking in the back, right? So once you have your tail hidden, go ahead and cut the excess yarn off. There you go. And there you have your body. Now we're going to move on. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be working on the legs. So go ahead and grab your dark brown yarn and let's follow along. To start off our legs, we're going to once again start with a magic ring. Again, we're going to be using our dark brown yarn now. 
and with your magic ring you're going to chain one and into this magic ring we're going to do six single crochets once you have your six single crochets you're going to find this little strand of yarn that's hanging out and pull on it so the center loop tightens and once you've done that you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one now we're on to round two so for round two we're just going to increase in each of the stitches all the way around until you get to the very end and at the end you should have a total of 12 single crochets Once you have your 12 single crochets, you can slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one, and now we're on round three. So for round three, our repeat pattern is gonna be one single crochet and one increase all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, the repeat pattern for round three is one single crochet and one increase all the way around until you get to the very end. And at the end, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Once you have your 18 stitches, you're going to slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one. Now we're, oh, excuse me. So for, we've just finished round three. We have a total of 18 stitches. And now for rounds four and five, we're just going to single crochet all around, keeping a stitch count of 18. So once again, for rounds four and five, we're just going to single crochet all around, keeping a stitch count of 18. And I will meet you when I'm done. I'm here at the end of round five. I'm gonna slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. And now we're on to round six. So our repeat pattern for round six is going to be one single crochet and one decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, the repeat pattern for round number six is going to be one single crochet and one decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 12 stitches when you're done. I'm here at the end of round six. Now you're gonna slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one. And now you're gonna loosen up your yarn and go ahead and stuff the inside of the leg. I've just stuffed the inside of my leg and now I'm just going to put my hook back in my yarn and continue. We left off on round six with a total of 12 stitches and now we're moving on to round seven. So for round seven, our repeat pattern is just going to be to do decreases all the way around. So again, our repeat pattern for round number seven is to just decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. You should have a total of six stitches when you're done. Once you've done round seven and you have a total of six stitches, you're just going to slip stitch into your very first stitch, chain one, and now we're technically going to do our last round, which is to close the hole. So we're not going to be working around, in fact, we're just going to close the hole by, by just pushing it together and stitching across. So instead of going around, we're going to stitch the hole together. So we have a total of six stitches. We're going to be going through two stitches per single crochet, which means that we should have a total of three. So what I mean by that is I'm just going to go through this stitch and the stitch right behind it and do a single crochet and then I'm going to go to my next stitch and the stitch behind it and do another single crochet and then my final one I'm going to go through my next stitch and the one behind it and single crochet so now we have three stitches at the top and our hole is closed I know this color is a little hard to see so I apologize um, but the hole is closed now. We have a total of three stitches. Now we're just going to chain one and we're going to cut a long strand of yarn. I'd say about six to 12 inches. And then just pull it through. There we have one of our legs. Now you can go ahead and rewind the video to watch how to make the other one because you will be needing two of these pieces. Now we're going to move on to the arms. So for the arms, we're going to be using two colors. We're going to start off with dark brown and then we're going to move our way to light brown. So get both of your yarns ready. We are going to be starting off with our dark brown yarn. So go ahead and grab your dark brown yarn and make a magic ring. And chain one. For round one, we're going to be doing eight single crochets. I know that we've been doing six single crochets into our magic ring, but now we're going to be doing eight. 
So go ahead and do eight single crochets into your magic ring. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Once you have your eight stitches, you're gonna find your little strand of yarn and pull on it to tighten up the center loop. And now we're gonna slip stitch into our very first stitch and chain one. Now for rounds two and three, we're just gonna single crochet around, keeping a stitch count of eight. So go ahead for the next two rounds, just single crochet all around until you get to round three. Once you have your third round completed, I have a total of eight single crochets and I've just finished round three. Now I'm gonna slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one. Now you have to change your color to light brown. Um, you can change your color however way you like. Um, I'm going to show you my way, which is um, different from how other people I've seen do it. But again, you can do it however way you would like it, but I'm going to show you the way I do it. So to change your color to light brown, I've already slip stitched and chained one. And now I'm just going to cut a small strand of yarn and pull it through. We're basically fastening off. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my light brown yarn. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a slip knot. Once you have your slip knot made, you're gonna insert your hook through the last stitch where you did your slip stitch and chain one. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook through my slip knot and pull it through and chain one. Now I have my color change. And now I'm just gonna single crochet for round four all the way around until you get to the very end. So once you've um, changed your color, we're gonna still do single crochet rounds. So we ended off on round three with our brown yarn, with our dark brown yarn, and now we're on round four with our light brown yarn. So with our light brown yarn, we're going to, we're going to single crochet around rounds four through six. I'm gonna explain that again because I know that sounded really confusing. Um, so we've done the first three rounds with our dark brown yarn, and when we changed color, we're on round four. So now we're just gonna single crochet around, keeping a stitch count of eight for rounds four, five, and six. So basically just single crochet all around with your light brown round, with your light brown yarn for rounds four, five, and six, and I will meet you when I'm done. So I've just finished round six with my light brown yarn, and now I'm just gonna slip stitch into my very first stitch and chain one, and now we're gonna loosen up our yarn and stuff the inside of the arm. Once you're done stuffing the inside of your arm, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our arm by slips, by, excuse me, by crocheting the hole at the top together. So we're gonna stitch our hole together, which is technically round seven. So um, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with our um, foot. So we're gonna, single crochet the top together. So we have a total of eight stitches. So when we single crochet the top, we should have a total of four stitches. So this yarn is a little better to see, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more clearly. So we're gonna first insert our hook into our next available stitch and the stitch right behind it, like so. Then we're gonna grab yarn and just do a regular single crochet. And now we're gonna move on to the next two stitches. So the next available stitch, insert your hook into it and the one right behind it and do a single crochet. Insert your hook into the next available stitch and the one behind it, single crochet. And one last time, single crochet. You have a total of four stitches at the top. Now you're gonna chain one and cut a long strand of yarn, about six to 12 inches. And now you can go ahead and pull it through. And now you can go and rewind the video to make another one of these legs, or excuse me, another one of these arms. And now we're going to move on to the next portion. We are now gonna work on the ear portion and we're gonna need our light brown yarn. So go ahead and grab your light brown yarn so we can start working on our ears. 
And to start off, we're gonna make a magic ring. Chain one. And for round one, we're gonna do six single crochets into our magic ring. Once we have our six single crochets, find this little strand of yarn and pull on it to close the loop in the center. And to finish off our round one, we're gonna slip stitch into our very first stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round two. So for round two, we're gonna do a single crochet and an increase all the way around. So again, our repeat pattern for round two is to do one single crochet and one increase all the way around until we get to the very end. At the end, you should have a total of nine stitches. I'm done with round two and I have a total of nine stitches. Now we're gonna slip stitch into our very first stitch and chain one. And now we're on to round three. So for round three, we're just gonna single crochet all around, keeping the stitch count of nine. Once you're done with round three, slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one. For round four, we're going to do a repeat pattern of two single crochets and an increase all the way around until we get to the very end. Again, for round four, our repeat pattern is two single crochets and an increase all the way around, and at the end you should have a total of 12 stitches. Once you're done with round four, go ahead and slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round five. So for round five, we're gonna do a repeat pattern of three single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, our repeat pattern for round five is three single crochets and an increase all the way around until you get to the very end. You should have a total of 15 stitches when you're done. I'm here at the end of round five. I'm gonna slip stitch and chain one. Now for rounds six through eight, we're just gonna single crochet all around. Again, for rounds six through eight, just single crochet all around, keeping the stitch count 15. I've just finished round eight, and now I'm just gonna slip stitch into my very first stitch, and chain one, and now we're gonna cut a long strand of yarn, again, six to 12 inches, and pull it through, and now, oops, sorry, I had a little bit of a catastrophe there. Um, so we've snipped off a long strand of yarn, about six to 12 inches, and we've pulled it through, and now we're gonna go ahead and grab our darning needle and attach it to the long strand of yarn that we've just cut. Once you've attached your yarn to your darning needle, um, before I sew, start sewing, I just wanna show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna turn this um, triangular shaped ear into this little curve. So we're gonna do that with um, our darning needle. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we have our um, yarn attached and if your yarn is somewhere in the middle just go ahead and move it to the side because we want the yarn to be in one of the corners so go ahead and put it to the side and now you're going to grab your darning needle attached to the yarn uh, excuse me you're going to grab your darning needle and you're going to put it through the stitch right next to where your yarn is attached on both sides so it's like we're closing it together but we're really not we're going to just Pull it through and after we've done that we are going to insert it through the opposite side right here so go ahead and put your darning needle through the stitches on the side from both sides and you're just going to pull it through and you're just going to keep pulling it until it closes like that and now you have your little curve to secure it in place, we're just gonna go through the same two areas where we put our darning needle through a couple more times so it doesn't undo itself. And after you've done that a couple of times, what you're gonna do is you are going to Place it through the middle right here. So go ahead and put your darning needle through your stitches right over here in the middle, like so, and then just pull it through, like that. And there you have your little ear shape. And don't cut the strand of yarn off, and instead just take it off from where you tie it 
um, onto your darning needle because we will be needing the long strand of yarn later. So don't cut it off. If you've already cut it off, it's fine. You can just use another strand of yarn to attach to the body later. That's not what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to leave it attached like so. So we have this little curve. Now you can go ahead and rewind the video to watch how to make another one of the ears because again, we will be needing um, two. Now we're going to move on to the antlers. To start off our antler, we're going to make a magic ring and chain one. And for round one, we're going to do six single crochets. And again, we are using our dark brown yarn. Once you have your six single crochets, find your little strand of yarn and pull on it to tighten the loop in the center. Then slip stitch into your very first stitch. And chain one. For rounds two through four, we're just going to single crochet around, keeping a stitch count of six. So once again, for rounds two through four, we're going to single crochet all around, keeping the stitch count of six, and that will meet when I'm done. I've just finished round four, now I'm going to slip stitch into my very first stitch. Oops. Chain one, and cut a small strand of yarn and pull through. And you can go ahead and tuck this piece of yarn into your little piece that we've just made. So just stuff it in so it's not in the way. And we're going to make another piece of this. So once again, go ahead and make a magic ring. Chain one and do six single crochets into this magic ring. Once you have your six single crochets, pull on the small strand of yarn to tighten up the loop and slip stitch into your very first stitch, chain one, and once again for rounds two through four, single crochet all around. So again, for rounds two through four, just single crochet all around, keeping a stitch count of six, and I will meet you when I'm done. I've just finished round four with single crochets, and now what we're going to do is we are going to connect both of these pieces together. So what you want to do is you have your little piece of yarn on your hook right now from this piece, and we're going to insert our hook into the next available stitch on the first piece that we made, and we're just going to do a single crochet into that stitch, like so. That is our first single crochet. And now we're just going to single crochet all around until we get back to this point. Um, and we should have a total of 12 stitches. I will do this round with you guys because it's a little difficult and maybe a little confusing. So that was our first single crochet. There's two, three, four, five and six. Once you get to your sixth stitch, we are going to place our seventh stitch on our second piece because each of these little antler pieces have st six stitches on them. So we've done six stitches on this side, so our seventh stitch should be on our next antler piece. So there's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Once you have all 12 of your stitches done, you can go ahead and slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one. And now for, we just did our uh, single crochet round, which was round five, and we have a total of 12 stitches. Now we're on to round six. So for round six, we're just gonna decrease all the way around until you get to the very end. Again, we're gonna decrease all the way around and at the end you should have a total of six stitches and I will meet you when I'm done. Once you have your six stitches, you can just slip stitch into your very first stitch and chain one. And now for rounds seven through nine, we're just gonna single crochet all around keeping a stitch count of six. And this is a little difficult to do because the space that we're working in is really small, but um, with a little bit of practice, it kind of gets easier. This is my third reindeer that I'm making. 
Um, it's still sort of difficult, but it's a lot easier. But anyway, go ahead and for rounds seven through nine, single crochet all around, keeping a stitch count of six for each rows until you get to the very end and I'll meet you when I'm done. Once you finish single crocheting um, from round nine, we are just gonna slip stitch and chain one, which I've already done. Um, and now we're just gonna close the little hole that's at the top by doing the exact same thing that we've been doing. Um, and you should have three stitches when you when you stitch everything together. And once you have those three stitches, just chain one and cut a long strand of yarn about six to twelve inches and pull it through. And there you have your antler. And now we are going to start working on the white and red part of the nose. So with our white yarn, we're gonna make a magic ring. Chain one and do a total of six single crochets for round one. Once you have your six single crochets, grab the small strand of yarn and pull on it to tighten up the loop and slip stitch and chain one. Now we're on to round two. For round two, we're just gonna increase in each of the stitches all the way around, and at the end, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Once you're done with round two, slip stitch and chain one. And for round three, our repeat pattern is gonna be one single crochet and one increase all the way around, and at the end, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Once you're done and you have a total of 18 stitches, you can go ahead and slip stitch into your very first stitch chain one and cut a long strand of yarn about six to twelve inches and pull it through and now we're going to work on the red part of the nose instead of using using red i'm going to use the sparkly pink yarn to start off our nose we're going to make a magic ring chain one and into this magic ring we're going to do six single crochets once you have your six single crochets pull on the small strand of yarn until it tightens and slip stitch into your very first stitch. And chain one. There you have your nose, and now you can cut a long strand of yarn and pull it through. And there you have your nose, and now we're going to attach it to our white portion. So go ahead and attach your your red or your pink yarn to your darning needle like so and now we're going to attach this to our nose now something that i like to do because we have this little strand of yarn i don't like cutting it because if you cut it sometimes the yarn likes to undo itself and that makes everything look messy and the nose is no longer the nose and it's just yarn so um what i like to do with this yarn is first i like to get grab the white portion of the nose stick my hook into the center or near the center through one of the stitches grab the small strand of yarn and just pull it through and once you've pulled it through you can attach it and tie it with the white strand of yarn that you don't need not the longer one but the one that's in the back the one that's um we pulled in the beginning to tighten up the loop in the center so we're just going to go ahead and knot that And once you have it knotted, you can just cut off the excess, like so. And now they're not in the way anymore. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to attach the starting or attach the red part of the nose to the white part of the nose. And we're just going to weave the nose in back and forth. And you can do this however you'd like. Um, I'm also not gonna show you in detail how to sew it together. Sewing is completely up to you because you might want to position your reindeer in a different way. Mine is just going to be the standard um, sitting down, arms to the side reindeer, but you can do it however you'd like. But I'm going to go ahead and sew my nose and I will be back when I'm done. Once you're done sewing the nose onto the white portion, you can just go ahead and knot your yarn in place. Like so. And then snip off the yarn 
and now we are going to start attaching everything to the body. Before we actually start sewing on the arms, legs, antlers, and everything, we are going to sew on the eyes. Now, you can um, use glue-on eyes or clip-on eyes, whichever one you prefer, but um, if not, then you can just use a darning needle and sew on your eyes. And I'm going to show you the way I sew on my eyes, but first, um, you're going to want to sew your eyes between rows um, 12 and 13. So find row 12, one, two, three. Also, um, where your line is, where you slip stitched and chain one, that should be your back side. And the one that has no line should be your front side. So go ahead and find that and find row 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. So this is round row 12 and I'm just going to insert my hook through one of the stitches like so. And I'm going to show you how I do my eyes. I'm just going to pull the yarn through like so. And with the end of the yarn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot. Like so. And then I'm going to bring my darning needle through the slip knot. Like that. I'm going to tighten up the slip knot. And I'm going to slowly slip it onto the eye portion. Like so. Um, and I will show you how to tuck this little yarn in, but... For now, I'm just going to go back and forth through the eye section so it looks a lot more neater, like so, which I will do off camera, but you're basically just going to sew it in back and forth until you have the eye shape that you prefer. So I've just gone back and forth to make this little eye, and now I'm going to hide my yarn by going through the bottom stitch of my eye and just bringing my darning needle through all the way to the back and pulling like so and I'm gonna make sure sorry those were my scissors and I'm just going to go ahead and pull it through until it's all the way in the back and once it's there just go ahead and snip it off and for this strand of yarn you're just going to go ahead and grab your darning or excuse me your your hook and you're going to place it a couple of stitches behind the eye and you're going to bring it towards the eye you're going to grab the yarn and you're just going to bring it through and once it's no longer visible you can just let it go inside the body and take your hook out and there you up there you go now you're going to do the exact same thing um seven stitches apart so you're gonna do the exact same thing you're gonna make another eye seven stitches apart so on the eighth stitch so it's gonna be one two three four five six seven and you're gonna be working on your eighth so these stitches right here so go ahead and make your second eye and I will meet you when I'm done once you have your eyes you're gonna go ahead and grab your nose and you're gonna sew it on right in between the eyes which I will do off camera and it should look something like this when you're done, and I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. I've just gone ahead and sewn on the nose, and now we're going to go ahead and sew on the arms. So the arms you're going to sew on right where the body curves. So this is where the head is, and this is the bottom part of the body. And you're going to sew it right wherever you would like. You can um, do it this way, clapping, or you can put it on the side. I'm just going to do it right at the curve right here on the side. And again, I'm going to do it off camera, and I will meet you when I'm done. I've just shown on the arms, and now I'm going to move on to the legs. And I'm going to be putting the legs on rows 25 or 26. So go ahead and sew them on to those rows, and they should end up like this if you're doing it the way I'm doing it. Um, and again, you're going to sew them on rows 25 or row 26. I've sewn on the legs, now it's time for the ears. Now you're going to sew on the ears between, no excuse me, you're going to sew on your ears at rows 7, 8, and 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 are right there, so they're going to be right at the side of the head. Go ahead and sew your ears at rows 7, 8, and 9 on both sides and I'll meet you when I'm done. I've just sewn on the ears and now it's time for the antlers. So you're going to sew the antlers at rounds 5 and 6. So right above the ears and go ahead and sew them on and I'll meet you when I'm done with both of them. I've just sewn everything on and this is how it should look like. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you would like to see next. It could be anything for the New Year's, for upcoming January, February. Just let me know what you want me to make, and I will show you how to make it. Anyway, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful winter break, and I will see you next time. Bye!